What's up, people? It's the Corsair coming at you with another Genesis video. Today, we're going to be looking at the tank warrior Athena. Even though she's classified as a warrior, I feel like she's definitely more on the tank side, more of the uh, support side. You can build her like an ADC all damage, but she seems to be most effective when she's in the fight, uh, sucking up a lot of damage, stunning people, being a nuisance so that your ADC can really get in there and clean up. So let's take a look at her moves, which the first one is Warrior Wisdom. Uh, this move fires a shockwave in front of her. 35% of that damage goes into health for her. So it's a nice little health regen type of ability that also deals a fair amount of damage. Um, the next is going to be her stun. This is called Smite. It damages and stuns an enemy unit. Range is doubled when in War Goddess state, and that's her ultimate. We'll talk about that in a second. We also have her passive, which is Olympian armor. This increases Athena's defensive capabilities. It doubles when she's in her war goddess mode. And then war goddess, which is actually a really good ultimate. When in war goddess state, Athena has a ranged attack and deals splash damage. So this is when she really starts pumping out a lot of damage and she becomes a terror to deal with. Plus she gets a boost to her defensive stats. Now let's go ahead and jump into her items because I build her a little differently than some may think. Since they see that she's all energy, people assume that you build her with energy energy but you don't let's take a look okay so as you see here we have a list of the items in the game a lot of people assume that since athena has energy attacks that she's going to be building energy damage that is not true if you look at how her damage is dealt it stacks with attack damage which means you need to build actual physical damage so the first card that i start off with is going to be the eclipse and this is usually the main damage card that i have so this one gives you the 110 attack, which is a good amount of attack. And then it also grants her the take aim, which is the true strike. So 75% chance to hit. That means that if people are building dodge, you're still going to be hitting, which is important because you are going to be in the fight always. Athena is meant to be in there mixing it up. The next card that I go with is Armor of Triumph. This card gives you 60 armor plus 20 attack speed. The passive is really good. Defense aura increases armor of friendly units by 25 and armor reduction reduces the armor of units by 25 so you give your people armor and you take armor away from the enemy team it also gives a slight attack speed boost which is great for your adcs and for you because you will be dishing out quite a bit of damage now the reason i like this card is because it gives the armor and armor transfers over to attack for athena so building armor on her isn't a bad thing because it makes her tanky and it makes her hit harder so keep that in mind as you're building her the next card that I build after that is the Alien Exosuit, and you can also swap that out with uh, Cryo Armor if you like. I usually tend to go with the Alien uh, Exosuit. It gives you 35 attack damage, 15 attack speed, 200 health, and 200 energy, plus the 17 lifesteal. The active increases the wearer's movement speed by 15% and attack speed by 45%. Also grants a shield equal to 5% of the wearer's maximum health each second. Effects last for 8 seconds. So I like this card because it gives the life steal, but more importantly, it gives you that extra health. You are going to be in the middle of a fight a lot, so having that shield, having that extra health is going to keep you on there and allow your backline to really uh, dish out that damage unmolested because you have a stun, you have that life steal ability, uh, warrior's wisdom. People can't really ignore you, so they have to deal with you or take you out of the fight somehow. So this move. The next item that I usually build is Medusa's shield. Depending on the uh, enemy team comp, you may wanna build this before you build the alien exosuit, up to you. But Medusa's shield is a must because it gives the 25 attack damage, the 50 armor, which is gonna give you more damage, and then it grants you immunity to energy effects. So if you have people who are stunning you a lot, um, this is maybe a card that you wanna pick up a little bit sooner so that you can stay in the fight and uh, really help your team out. Cause like I said, you're going to be in the fight. So picking up this card earlier may be beneficial to you. So we're gonna go with the Eternal Grace next. Um, this gives you 1100 health and it grants the wear additional uh, health regen. So 0.5 while in combat and 2.5 while out of combat. Uh, you mix that with your lifestyle ability and the lifestyle that you'll be getting from the exosuit. You're gonna be getting a fair amount of health back and um, you're just gonna be a terror to deal with while you're in those team fights. The last item here, now this one's optional. I like to go with this one at the end. I like to go with the Crimson Mask because at this point you'll be doing enough damage to where it's uh, effective and you'll have enough health to really, uh, <laughs> to really be a tank. 
So this is going to give you the 45 attack damage, 25% life steal, 250 health, and a 30 armor. And then the active is Feast. It grants you 150% life steal for the next eight basic attacks. Effects uh, last no more than four seconds. So at the end here, this card is really going to help you with that sustain. And at the end game, it's a great card to have, really, if you're in there mixing it up. Now let's take a look at what Athena looks like in PvP. All right, people, so here you can see that we have a little bit of Athena gameplay uh, PvP. Unfortunately, uh, my data on Premiere got corrupted, so I wasn't able to show the actual footage with me actually talking in game. But they added this replay mode, so I'm able to, I was able to get uh, some clips from there. So I got the last seven minutes or so to kind of show um, how we ended up winning this game. We came back because uh, they actually had us dead to right for a while. They had us by about 15 to 20 kills. And then towards the end, we started grouping up and really working together. So I'm just going to commentate over this game, kind of talk about um, what we did right and what the other team did wrong at the end there. And uh, yeah, and when I'm doing that, I'm not doing it to be disrespectful. Props to the, the other team. They put up a really good fight. Um, so don't, don't take it like that. I'm not trying to be disrespectful or rude. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So as you can see here, um, I'm roaming around a little bit, seeing where uh, I'm most needed. It looks like top lane is starting to get pushed in by this Minotauros. And we're going to talk about this Minotauros. He is there. Uh, he's a tank character. Usually you see him more of like a support role. Every once in a while you'll see him played as jungle. But he's definitely more of like a support type character. This Minotauros had over 20 kills at the end of the game. And they still ended up losing. Um, I always say this, but... Um, the reason that they lost this game is because they didn't have a carry. Um, they had their tank who was putting out fair damage. I mean, but as you see here, like he's focused on me and he's not actually able to burst me down. If that would have been a Cadex or an Apollo or somebody that would have caught me out like that, I probably would have been dead. Because at this point in the game, they would have been doing a serious amount of damage. But that dude, he could not kill me fast enough, right? Like my, um, my nameless had time to get down there, find the fight pop his ult, chop this man down. And as you see, Nameless is an actual damage dealer. He chopped that dude down fast. And that's what all the life steal, all that armor that he's building up to this point, still was able to get chopped down. My point in saying this, make sure that you're actually feeding the characters that are going to be able to carry for you late game. Scion, Minotauros, Nemo, uh, these support tank type characters, they're not going to win you the game. <clears throat> They can definitely help you. Like right here, my uh, Apollo, he's putting in God's work right now. And of course, Popalock. I can't take it from him. But our carry ended up going like 29 and 7 or something. Like he was doing big work. And that's because we let him get fed up like we should have, right? Now, I mean, that doesn't mean you don't get any kills. I mean, obviously, like right here, I'm about, I get a um, Scion there. But at this point, Apollo is so, he he's where he's supposed to be. So it's all good. But right here, my team started really sticking together. Earlier in the game, uh, we definitely were not. Uh, a lot of our teammates, I think, died somewhere around 13 or 14 times. And that's because they kept getting caught out, um, just 1v3. And uh, that Minotauros definitely had a field day early on. Once we caught on to that and started kind of hanging out together, uh, we did a lot better, especially this Apollo and I. Like, he started sticking with me, and I would make sure I was close to him. And then we were able to really just uh, tear through their team, even when it was just the two of us. Because at the end here, this team started to break down, especially once their Minotauro started dying. But even here, this Popalot comes up here. And uh, I think he, I'm pretty sure he doesn't die here. But like right here, there was kind of a little bit of miscommunication. Uh, we started going opposite ways. But even with that, we still kind of regroup and we see what's happening. Uh, this Scion here, this is the guy that uh, that kept trying to jump on my uh, Apollo, but wasn't going to let him do it. Uh, our Popalock ends up surviving there. I don't know how he got away. I guess he used this ult and like got inside somebody's body and then uh, slithered his way out of there somehow. Now, right here, I'm not sure exactly what I was thinking. For some reason, I thought I was going to be in there and just like take that tower down real quick, kind of muscle it down. And uh, that that obviously did not happen. Uh, this guy tries to chase me down, but, uh, you know, E60, whatever his name is, he doesn't really have the best uh, pursuit abilities. So, you know, he does his best, but with my stun, I'm able to get away from him uh, pretty easily, no problem. Um, so right now, I think the team and I are about to get back together. Um, I was going to go back to the base here, but uh, I ended up changing my mind. And the reason is, is because I have life still, and i rather keep the team together. 
as opposed to shutting it down or uh, going back because right now we're 52 52 so like this is this is crunch time right here this is where you got to risk it for the biscuit for lack of a more eloquent term <clears throat> One thing I like right here, you see how Apollo sees that energy? He knows that Athena, I don't know if he knows, but Athena, all her damage is energy damage. It scales with attack power, but it registers as energy damage. He knows that most of his damage is coming from physical, so he lets me have that. A lot of people don't do that. Like, you have a Minotauros taking freaking energy buff. <laughs> like, he's really gonna, and not to say that he can't benefit from it at all, but, you know, Athena or like an Amber would obviously benefit from it better. So I like that he actually did that. Right here, as you can see, we're all grouped up. We're five stacked up top. Seven kills away from getting the dub. Now, I think this is where we're kind of just pandering a little bit, seeing what this enemy team is going to do. Because I'm pretty sure that we don't actually back off here. I'm thinking that we're going to we're gonna get back together. Oh, I remember this. Never mind. This is where their scion just completely overextended. If you look here, he's all the way down at the bottom. I'm going to make a video about when to push lanes and when to kind of sit back as well. Because this right here, this is what like helped them lose the game right here. Like we kept getting easy picks like that. And you can't give those up, especially at the, the end game there. Because those those one kills, two kills, that makes a difference in a game right there. And then right here, instead of having, you know, Scion there, now it's just, uh, you know, I think, what is that? Three people there. Either way, they don't have their full team. And like these guys, they didn't have enough DPS to actually burn me down. My Apollo gets to be unmolested and put down a ton of damage. And that's what I'm talking about. When you're a tank, don't focus so much on trying to kill people. You're going you're gonna to get some kills here and there anyway. But focus on being like that meat shield, making people deal with you. Because that's going to be the most beneficial for your team. Right there, we got basically a, well, we got a team wipe because we killed the Scion earlier on. So our Apollo was able to go in there and just rip through the team. Now, this is end game right here. Um, most of these people are still dead. The Scion's here. He jumped right into the fray. Um, tried not to do that. He, What he should have done was just sit in his tower and wait for his team to come back. You know, if any of us overextended, maybe try to punish us for that. But there's no reason to jump in on a 5v1. Right here, what I'm doing, since I have so much life still, I just go to the jungle and get my, my health back there. Uh, it's a good little strategy for endgame to keep you from having to go back to base. And people, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. We end up getting the dub, making a nice little comeback. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. If you made it to the end, drop that in the comment section. And as always, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for the support. This is Ors, of course. We'll see you in the next video. Peace, 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 peace.